Hi there, welcome to My Catholic Perspective. I am Allie Marie, hence Catholic Alligators, which is where I like to take life one bite at a time comes from. And I converted Catholic at 21 years old after a fairly promiscuous and rebellious life. And so I wanted to talk today about the actual war on women, which is just overwhelming the media right now. The fact that women feel like they have to get an abortion in order to lead a successful life would be a war on women. We are biologically wired to protect our children. And the thought that we have to not have children to have a successful career, or we shouldn't have children if we want to keep our body looking the way that it does, right? We don't want stretch marks, we don't want to gain weight because oh my goodness, I would have to post a photo on social media of a pudgy face or whatever else. But the idea that we have to maintain our figure, we're supposed to look really young and stay looking young, we're supposed to just, you know, be this perfect image of what a woman is, and that is a war on women. Okay, social media in general, war on women. The fact that women try to argue, well, we're protecting our sexuality. I want to be able to, you know, have sex with whoever I want. Well, guess what? I did that once. And I can tell you what, not one of those guys caused me to orgasm. You cannot have sex with a guy once and he can get you off. Maybe you're hooking up with guys who have slept with 30 girls and maybe he's able to do that for you, but what girl wants to be number 31 on a list? I actually don't think I've talked to anybody. None of my friends through college said that a guy was able to help them reach completion on a one night stand or even after sleeping with them a few times. When it comes to getting to know a girl's body and helping somebody else understand your body when it comes to sex, that is one of the most intimate pieces that is of a girl because we have to like ask for certain things. We have to, you know, know what works for us and then share that with somebody. It, it requires a level of vulnerability that does not typically happen in my experience and any of my friends' experiences, does not happen on the first night. When you look at single women, when they say suppress your fertility, be on birth control, do all of these things, I want to have you, give me all of you, but don't give me your fertility. Like, take that away because, hey, we aren't having children because I'm not ready to commit to you. So this war on women, we being the emotional beings and emotionally guided in our decisions, yes, we can be logical too, but we have more hormones than men. Estrogen works differently in the body than testosterone. Women have more estrogen, period, biology. So when they say, get on birth control, suppress your fertility, they aren't accepting us, first off, as a whole, but secondly, they're saying, I want to be able to have non-committal sex with you. And sure, a woman can want that as well. Like, I remember when I was in college, I didn't necessarily want to get pregnant by any of the guys that I was sleeping with. But I can t also tell you that sex was a lot better for them than it was for me. As women, we are also inherently designed to crave a sense of security and connectedness that cannot be offered unless we know deeply the person that we are sleeping with. So having sex with strangers like the Tinder app or whatever else gives us a false sense of security of that secureness and of that connection. So women are inherently designed to protect our children. Men are inherently designed to protect their family, so their wife and child. With the patriarchy, choosing that abortion should not be legal, choosing that, you know, maybe reserving sex for marriage is the best thing to do. Like, wait to have sex. If you don't want to have kids right now, don't have sex. So trying to say that men, you know, the patriarchy needs to stop making decisions for us and all of this, they see the biology. They're looking at the science, right? Men are logical, they're black and white, and they see the fetus as human life. The Human Life Protection Act in Alabama proves that, right? They, and that was even proposed by a woman and signed by a female governor. So you're still seeing a woman do that, even though, sure, there are 25 males there that voted, but they're protecting life. And as women, we are inherently wired 
to protect that life as well. But we have a society that's telling us like, you gotta keep your body perfect. If you have children, like you're gonna have to take a maternity leave. People aren't gonna promote you. You're not gonna make as much money. You're gonna have to take time off. And guess what? Some women have children and then they decide, wow, this child is way more important than my career and I'm not going to be pursuing that anymore right now. And then they take a break and then they go back later or they don't go back and they stay home forever and that's something that's possible for them. The overall idea that I want to leave here though is the fact that a lot of people on the left are arguing that taking abortion away is a war on women. We are taking away their reproductive rights. The real war on women is actually against ourselves, saying, oh, I should be able to get an abortion whenever I want because I want to have sex whenever I want with whoever I want, when in reality, that's not something that we, at the core of our being, want. We want to be loved. We want to be accepted for all of who we are. And we should be able to have children and still succeed in careers and not be held back from promotions because they know in a few years we're going to have kids, right? That's the patriarchy. That is not okay. But to say that I should be able to have sex, you know, maybe I want to have kids in five years, but right now I want to have sex and so they shouldn't take away my right to abortion, that's wrong because they're saying you have to abort your child in order to succeed here. You should be able to have a child now and still get that promotion. They are not exclusive to each other. Those are my thoughts for today. Taking life one bite at a time. If you'd like to as well, feel free to subscribe. God bless, I look forward to seeing your thoughts in the comments. We'll see you later, alligator.